Hello, hello, I'm back, but I don't know, just for one video. I said previously I will not talk about design that much, but there's something interesting that happened in design world this month. Figma started to charge dev mode. And we knew that, but we maybe forgot about it because they announced it like six or more months ago on their conference. But now it's happening. So the gist of things is you need to pay extra money for developer seats moving forward in Figma. I want to show you their pricing points and also I want to offer you an alternative. Because if you have many developers in a team or if you are a freelancer, this new pricing point is very unappealing for you. On Figma pricing page, we can see the dev mode is not included in free which is fine, right? They need to earn some buck in order to have operations happening. But the problem here is they removed literally every inspection from free tier. So if you're a small creator just learning or doing something that doesn't bring you money, so you really need this much of Figma, the hand of the developer will be very, very hard. Moving forward, uh, yes, dev mode included in professional plan. That's, I guess, okay for s very small creators. Organization and enterprises. This is very curious. I'm usually on one of these plans over here. Look at this. 25 per month or 35 per month per seat. We are talking about thousands, if not tens of thousands of euros more on top of Figma bill. And we all know that their bills can be quite high because anybody can, you know, invite somebody to file and uh, then your bill next month is, you know, just mind-blowingly big. So what do you get uh, in dev mode? Well, you get code inspection, you get some uh, VS code and whatever else plugins or code snippets, stuff like that. I don't know how much developers use that, but this like crude baseline inspection is what we mostly want, right? So what I want to show you is Zeppelin. This is a company that uh, used to thrive quite a lot in the past because we didn't have this inspection in our design tools. Then it got a little bit quiet for them, but now it seems they are back in the game. Why? Look, they have 25% off if you sign up before March 31st this year. Curious. Let's check their pricing. And by the way, they're doing handoff. You get a lot of things. And we will try that today with my product to see how Zeppelin works and can it replace Figma dev mode. So on free, you get six project members. That's great. Like for smaller creators, this is a way to go. For team, six, not 25, not 35, six significant change. Um, organization 12 for enterprise callers. That's pretty damn good. And when we check what uh, Zeppelin does these days, great. A uh, single point of reference for build, uh, blah, blah, plugins, great. Record behaviors and requirements on screen. Awesome for documentation. We have sections. Great. We have that in Figma as well. Flow groups and boards. I don't know what's that. Tags and tag groups. Could be useful. Screen and component variants. Cool for light and dark mode, as we can see over here. Now they change to something else. I want to zoom in. <laughs> um, and then they say handoff is dead. Product teams need design delivery. Controversial. Okay, what we're going to do now is fire up Figma. I should have done that before. So we have this newsletter sending app that I'm building with two buddies. Waitlist is open and I will link a marketing website of this tool in description. So please check it out and sign up if you're interested. Okay, so I was working on login flow and it's pretty much done. So... I'm going to try to look for Zeppelin. Cool. It's loading. Sign up with Figma. Sure. Allow access. Let's give it all. Aha. Uh -huh. Connected to Figma. You can now close this tab and head back to Figma. Let's head back to Figma. 
So I selected this, this, I'm just selecting desktop stuff, export, search for a product, create new, web, choose an export. You have reached, it seems that I had a plan already in Zeppelin, what? Um, okay, let's fix that. <laughs> Code projects. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's let's delete that. Okay, cool. Let's see if it now works. This is curious case. Because some of you might already have something from before. Because we all played with all the tools, right? Come on. Okay. Pro tip. Use V to define screen variants in Figma, like login, version mobile, and... Okay, so we can import, but I need to rename my layers a little bit if I choose to use Zeppelin for this. It's still exporting. It takes a while. Let's see. Okay, can I rename? No, not like this. Okay. Integrations with Storybook. Interesting, we use Storybook. Um, I still see nothing. This is a bit slow. And this is not working. Okay, well, this is really bad demo for Zeppelin because this should have been flawless. Aha, uh -huh, something is happening. One of 18 images. Great, let's see. Ah, it started. This is very slow, um, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, okay, after 3 million years, we have uploaded everything to Zeppelin. So let's see how this looks. Oh, it's, it was already there. I don't need to refresh. Okay. Um, invite, no, I will not invite anything introducing tag groups. I will explore this later or Add tag, login. Okay. So what now? Uh, developer comes here and then... Oh, I can put annotation, comment, clicking. Oh, look at this. This is quite nice. This is very nice. I like this. So I'm a developer. I click here. Okay. This is cool. And it says... Uh, it, it picks up Figma variables that I created for this project and it really does says everything here. This is great. This is absolutely great. Let's inspect text. Yeah. This is really, really beautiful. This is exactly what most of us need. Absolutely gorgeous. Used in two screens in these projects. And then it it shows you like where you use that. This is smart. I love Zeppelin. Okay, so okay, we have the 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 video, right? The point I wanted to make in this video is, if you need very basic handoff, which most of us do, you can just use Zeppelin. They have discounts now. This company is cool again, which is insanity. And Figma putting such a price point to inspection is insanity and regression but hey maybe this video will bring more business to zeppelin or more people will just you know not use the dev mode and then figma will see that maybe they made a mistake but i'm pretty sure a lot of companies like teams and especially orgs will actually pony up all that money so i don't think they will learn anything from this but anyways i wanted to help you because I know many of you are holding your head, screaming, no, I can't pay this, I'm screwed. But here is free, free alternative. I literally imported my project and I will work on it to see what else can I do in Zeppelin with my project. And it works and it's nice and I love it. Thumbs up. Anyway, Alvik, newsletter sending app. This is my side gig that I'm doing with two developers. I will put in description a link to marketing landing and you can see like little screenshots. I am streaming uh, how I'm designing this Alvik. So I will link also playlist uh, and subscribe because then you will get notification when I'm streaming again. 
After streaming, this video stays on YouTube, so you can always go and check in peace. This is excellent for beginners and those who want to be designers or those who are interested to see like how others do different things in Figma and design. Uh, because I go slow and you know I take my time and you see literally full process. There is no editing there. It's raw. It's great. Design Party Podcast has a new website, so check that. I will link it in description. We just published a new episode and it's really good. I'm so happy with audio. Helena and I were really good, good vibes in this one. I really love it. So check that out. Is there something else? Right. There's also a newsletter, Design Party Digest. I will link that as well. This is a newsletter where you will get once per month, less day in a month, some links, some cool apps, some cool resources that are for internet nerds, designers, and... Um, if there is something significant happening in design space, we will put that in intro so you are informed. That's all. Just kidding. Bye.